taking me a few days to get this video done because I keep learning more. Every time I go to post it, I'm learning something new and I'm like, oh, this fills in some blanks. And the previous video talked about if you want fat, eat more fat. If you don't want fat, don't eat fat. I watched this video by a lady who actually is a specialist in the field of hormones for women. And and she's carnivore. And it's it was amazing just hearing her explain what goes on in the body. Some of it kind of went in one ear and out the other because she uses a lot of big words and stuff. But the basics of it is that fat is so good for healing hormones and healing our bodies. Women that are ill have a huge cortisol issue. Our adrenals are shot because it's like we need adrenaline just to get out of bed in the morning. If that's you, comment below and let me know if I'm not alone in this. In order to heal all of these things in our bodies, she says adding more fats. She starts people on like 60-40, 70-30 of fat to protein. So she really does a high fat diet. And she said that when people come to her and they're not doing well on the carnivore diet, because they're not having enough fat. So, but here's the thing, <laughs> because I know some of you are like me. I have a terrible, terrible gut. I have acid reflux to the point that it, it ruined that little um, flap at the bottom that keeps food from coming up. And so if I'm not really careful, I'll be regurgitating all day long. And eating too much fat does that to me. And it's not good for me it's not good for helping my body to heal I really need this part to heal so that you're gonna feel sick at first but then it will get better and and so I thought well I tried that <laughs> I did I did higher diet for a good month and I'm still puking it up for me and maybe this will help you a little bit too I'm going to be really aware of exactly how much fat I'm eating and increase it slowly because our bodies will adjust. There's no doubt about that. Like our bodies will begin to use the fat and absorb it and begin to heal our bodies with that healthy fat. Our bodies have to get used to it first and, and know what to do with it. And that takes time. There's no way around it. What I am thinking of doing is just adding a little bit of of bacon back into my diet because when I cut out the bacon it didn't actually make me feel better I thought it would I thought like the the strict lion diet would be what my body needs but I seem to feel a little bit better on the bacon so I think I'm gonna add that back in I didn't like the lard though which is funny uh, the lard made me feel really gross so I'm not gonna add lard I'm just going to add some bacon um, just to make sure that I get enough fat and then that way I can actually keep track of it and I can be like okay so I'm adding pieces of bacon with every meal and then t and then next week or in two weeks I'll add three pieces of bacon and then four pieces of bacon and just until and making sure that my food is not coming up and making sure that it's staying down as long as it stays down then that's the appropriate amount of fat for me I hope this helps you guys a little bit it, I know it's such a journey and if it's not making you feel good there's there's a reason for it and so we just got to change a few things tweak a few things but I want to encourage you this is going to get better you're gonna get better <laughs> one more video that I'm gonna link below where she actually does a high fat carnivore diet for five months and she explains how that went the pros and cons and some things that she went through like a upset stomach so that will be really encouraging for you I found it to be so inspiring I love this lady don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel and go check out her channel and leave a like on her video we'll talk soon god bless you guys